guys and welcome back to Beverly's Design Time. Tonight's DIY is something that I thought about while I was making my previous DIY and I'll leave a link below so you can watch that as well. You will also need to watch it to understand where I'm going with this one as well. Alright so with that said let's just get started. And if you've seen my previous DIY you'll know that I glued acrylic beads onto my glass. But this time around I'm going to use some flower bling. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. And um, I'm going to bring you guys along as I try it out. And again, we'll be using another deer head, but this time we'll be using the silver glitter one. Alright, the first thing I want to do is center this frame. And temporarily tape it down with some tape. To start this off, we're going to do just like we did before. I'm going to start out by adding my first flower right in the middle. And now I'll put one on each end. And now I'll put one between these two and then one between these two. So now we'll go ahead and add our second row. Now I'll add the third row. So now I'll just add some down the side and then across the bottom. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm down to the last few little flowers that I need to add, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish that on camera. So what I want to do now is go ahead and add the screw holes onto the back of my frame. Um, I won't use this frame because it's scratched up already. I have another frame. So I'll grab that frame, go ahead and put those screws in the back, and then we can move on to the next step. Alright, this is the frame that I'll be using. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these little tabs off. If you look at your frame, you'll see that there's two staples here that holds these pieces together. What you want to do is put your screw in away from that. You don't want to be right next to it. And more than likely, it's going to split a little bit, so just add some hot glue to it.
So I'll just hold this together while I screw it in place. Same thing on the side. On a previous project, I actually put bling on the inside of the frame. But with this frame, I'm just going to spray paint the inside silver. And then I'm going to spray it with some silver glitter spray paint as well. So I'm going to do that and then we'll come back and continue working on this project. Hi guys, I'm back. And it's actually five days later. Um, my daughter had to go to Las Vegas to do the Soul Train Awards. And I had to keep the little one. So whenever I keep her, she will not let me record. Like I said, this is five days later. I went ahead and spray painted the frame. And I used the Glitter Blast also, and I'll show you guys that later. While doing that, I actually came up with another idea. So I'm going to go a different route that does not require you to spray the inside of your frame. So off camera, I decided to go ahead and add some gems to the flower bling. And here's the bling that I used, and I picked it up from Michaels. So I pretty much covered them all except for two. And I left these two blank just so you can see how it's done. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue. And remember, whenever you're using gems, use hot glue to glue them on because if you use regular glue, then that'll dull the gem out. Just like that. So now every flower has a gem on top. So I'm just going to move this to the side. Now it's time to move on to the next step. I wanted to do something that resembled snow. So um, I came up with an idea to do like a fur background. And um, I was actually going to go to Hobby Lobby and buy some of the white fur that they had. But I'm trying to use more of the Dollar Tree products for this particular DIY. And um, I found this cloth at Dollar Tree. And I've already cut it and it's the super soft microfiber cloth in a sort of an off-white but I think it'll still work fine so I went ahead and cut some pieces ahead of time this is the piece that I cut and what I want to do is glue it onto the back part of my frame so I'm just going to go ahead and lay this out to make sure it measures okay so that seems to measure okay. So now what I want to do is go ahead and glue this down to the back piece of the frame. So I'm just going to add some hot glue. And I see I need to get a new glue stick. And make sure the furry side is upward. And just press that down. So now I'm just going to add some more glue on the board. So now what you want to do is go ahead and make sure there's no little black spots on there, no dark lint or anything you want it completely clean. So we'll go ahead and go on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back and um, I'm going to go ahead and try and get through this video. It's now a couple of days later and um, we got some really bad news a couple of days ago. Um, I lost my great nephew in a motorcycle accident. He's only 19 years old so it's really hard for the family. So um, we're trying to get through this as best as we can and um, I want to go ahead and complete this DIY for you guys. I have a few more that I need to get out. So I'm going to try and get all these out as soon as I can, but please just bear with me. If I'm a little late with the video, please understand why. With that said, let me just go ahead and get on with this DIY. As you remember, I glued this background to the back part of the frame. So the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and start to assemble this together. I'm going to insert the top piece of glass. And now I'm going to insert this glass with the flower bling and gems on it. So the flower bling and the gems will be between both pieces of glass. So 
So now we're going to take our fur board and just put it in there. Okay, so just pressing this in here, I see that I need to trim this out, so I'm going to grab the scissors, trim this out, so I can get this lay flush inside the frame. Okay, guys, so I trimmed it down. So now let's put this back in place. Let's add some hot glue. Okay, guys, I'm back. So that took a little bit of time. I actually had to hold it back down because of the material that I used. It was kind of fluffy, so I had to hold it down to keep it in place while it glued. So now we have this. Okay, so the next thing that I want to do is take our 4x6 frame, and it looks like this. So the thing that I want to do with this frame is add some of the same fur on the inside. So what I did was trace the frame onto the fur, cut it out, place it between two pieces of glass, and this is what that looks like. Just like that. This is the back piece, so um, it has a little sticker on it, and I just pulled the sticker off, but you can even leave that sticker on there if you want to. But this is just some glue that's on that back piece of glass, and it won't be a problem because it is on the back of the glass. So um, what I want to do now is just go ahead and pull these little tabs out, and then I'm going to glue this wooden piece back in place, and then we'll go on to gluing that onto this piece as well. All right, so let's just do that. So now I'm just going to add my wood frame back in place. Hold this down, add hot glue to keep it in place. Okay guys, so now that my hot glue has completely set up, I can go ahead and add this to the large frame. Okay, so all I want to do is center this. So what I'm going to do is um, use some of this quick hold glue. I actually don't know where my um, E6000 is right now. I put it somewhere. Um, my brain is kind of scrambled right now, so I don't know exactly where it is. So we're going to use this along with some hot glue to glue this in place. Okay. So now just press down. Okay, so that's pretty good. So I'm just going to let this set up for a while. And now I'll go ahead and start working on my reindeer. Now this is the reindeer head that they sell at Dollar Tree. I've actually seen some similar ones at Walmart. But um, all you do is just cut off the label and take these pieces off and when you do you'll see that it's going to remove some of the glitter so I'm not really happy with this Dollar Tree glitter so what I did was went ahead and spray painted one ahead of time and covered it in some different silver glitter and this is what it looks like look at the difference this is not an attractive color. Alright, so, so once I did that, I went ahead and added some gems for the eyes on the deer. And the next thing to do is to go ahead and take this bell off. And just remove whatever you can off of it. So what I'm going to do now is take this outside and spray paint it silver. And then I'm going to use my glitter spray and spray it on top of the silver glitter just to give it more sparkle and then we'll go ahead and decorate the neck of the reindeer okay so while my bell is drying I'm going to go ahead and add some bling around the neck of my deer so I'm using some of the bling with the adhesive on the back already 
I'm going to use two rows. I'm going to start in the back, hold this down and just measure and see about where I want it to end. About like that. So I'll cut the other side the same way. And then put them around the neck. I'm going to add hot glue to make sure it stays on permanently. Just like that. It's a simple thing to do and I'm showing you guys because someone asked in the comments to show how I decorated the deer on the last DIY. So now I use some of these gems that I picked up at Michael to go around the top of my Dollar Tree bling. Now guys you can omit this, you do not have to do it. Um, I'm just showing you how I did it my way. And just go ahead and start adding your gems. And just do the same thing for this side. Alright guys, so now that my bell is completely dry, I don't know if you can see the glitter sparkle, but it's really cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and add it right here in the center. And I'll be using some of my hot glue. And you can add a little bit more glue if you need to or want to. Just gonna add just a touch. Alright. Okay. So now what I want to do is go ahead and glue this onto the smaller frame. Just get an idea of where I want to position my deer head and go ahead and glue it in place. And again, I'll be using this quick hold along with some hot glue. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some hot glue. Hold it in place until the hot glue sets up. So now I'm going to wait about 30 minutes and just give this quick hold a chance to completely dry and then we'll go on to the next step. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is where we are right now. I have some glitter here that I need to clean up so I'm just going to go ahead and do that later but meanwhile, um, Looking at the background, I decided to add some bling to it also, but it won't go on the inside because it's too late for that. I found some of these snowflakes from Dollar Tree, and I did not know I had them. Had I known that I had these ahead of time, I would have used these in the background instead of the flowers, but it'll all work out. So um, they have like little tabs on the back, little sticky tab, and you just pull it off and it sticks. But that's not enough to make it permanent, so I'm just going to figure out exactly where I want these to go in the background. And then use my hot glue gun to glue them down. And I'm just going to add a few. Just kind of get an idea, just place them around and see where you like them. So I just peeled up that little sticky layer of glue and I'm just going to set this one on top of the hot glue. Do 
the same thing for the second one. Maybe put it there. I really like the snowflakes. I just wish I had found these before I put the flower bling down, but we're going to work it out. All right, so the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add some bling around my frame. And then maybe I'll add some of these snowflakes on top of the flower bling. So let's just do that and we'll be almost done. First off, I'm going to add some bling on the top and on the bottom. And then on the side. And I'm actually using the bling sheets again. Alright, this is not long enough, so I'm going to have to cut more bling to add between here. Okay, so that's what we have so far. So now I want to go ahead and add some bling around this frame as well. Okay guys, so now I'm done adding bling around my frame. I really like the way it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and add some snowflakes around the frame or maybe some uh, gems. Let's just try some out and see how I like them. Here's some gems. And this is what the snowflakes look like. I think I like the snowflakes over the jam, so let's put some snowflakes on there. So as usual, I guess I add one in the corner. Now I'll go ahead and add one in the remaining three corners. Just add one right in the middle. And now I think I'll just add some gems around this frame. Okay guys, so I'm finally back with my completed piece. And this is what it looks like. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. The fur background really gives it a different look. It makes it more Christmassy and I really do love it. Um, I actually was hoping that I could go out and find a different ribbon to put on top. This is the same ribbon that I used on the other one. But what I want to find is a white ribbon with some silver snowflakes. So I'm going to go back out this week after the funeral and uh, see if I can find a white ribbon with um, silver snowflakes on it. But yeah, this is it guys. Sorry it took me forever. Um, it was only minutes for you, but it has been days for me. This has really been a tough time for my family. I just want to thank you guys um, in my group and they've given me so much support. I want to take our time and tell them thank you so much. All your prayers are still needed. I greatly appreciate it. I really love you guys. 
I don't want to make this a sad video, so I'm just going to go on with what I was saying about this. So, yeah, I really love it, and um, I hope you guys try it. And if you use the Silver Rain Dears from Dollar Tree, please change it. <laughs> I really do not like the glitter that they use on though. But hey, what you expect for a dollar? I also want to tell you guys, um, check out my daughter's channel. And we also started a channel for my granddaughter. She wants to do videos with me all the time, so I have to cut her out a lot. She'll come right in the middle of one of my DIYs and start trying to explain what I'm doing. So <laughs> she's really funny and she really loves YouTube. So check her out because she's giving away a lot of toys. I think it's about 8 to 10 toys that she's doing a giveaway on. And they will make a great Christmas gift for a toddler. I'll leave links below to both of their channels. So yeah guys, show them a little support. Um, I also want to show you this. I want to show you something else that I did with this frame. It's the same frame that I used from this project. And this is what I made. I have a couple of little plastic stones on the back. And I used some of the Michael gems that I always use in my project. And I did it because I want you guys to see that, that you could do these projects using these gems as well. And I think it will make a really beautiful gift this holiday season. You could start out just using it at a dinner party. You could put your guest pictures in them. Or you can write their name sit it at their seat so they'll know where they're supposed to sit and then afterwards you can give it to them you can let them know that they are free to take the frames home with them these are really beautiful and your guests will love you for it so yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys but i really love it and um, i'm definitely going to do this on a larger scale so if you guys would like to see a diy on that as well just let me know so yeah that's it for now guys i just want to thank you all again thank you so much for all your love and support Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all the beautiful comments. Thank you for being you. Thank you for being here for me. I really do love you guys. Stay tuned for more DIYs. I'm going to try my best to get them out as soon as I can. I have so many that I need to get out to you guys. I've had so many ideas. Most will be for Christmas, but I'm still going to throw some other ones in there as well. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. Make sure you check out those other two channels that I told you about. Stay tuned for the next DIY. Oh, and don't forget to look for the Dollar Tree and Amazon gift card codes that I'll be putting in my video. So, you never know how much they'll be. I'm kind of starting out with $5 here, $5 there. But I'm looking to add some larger ones soon, so look out for those as well. So, yeah, guys, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one, and thanks so much for watching.